bro, just like for a second, just try this. Next time you see um, like a, a news report or something go, okay, I'm going to try this weird perspective. I want to think of these people as they're just like talking shit on a reality TV show. And it's really weird, but it works. So you're sitting there and you're watching this world leader talk about this other country and like, they did this and we did this and rah, rah, rah. And you're like, bro, you're, you're a high schooler complaining to the world, right? When you see people like this, it gets really weird, right? So, you know, let's not make it serious with countries and politics and war. It's like someone gets, like, think of it. Someone gets up in a podium in high school. And they're like, hey, I saw this. Just think of any drama that you see on YouTube. It's like, hey, so-and-so, yeah, I, I, I heard... I heard they did this thing, you know? Oh, I heard he likes uh, to eat ass. Like, that's weird, that's creepy. He likes to eat ass, <laughs> And then everyone's like, ah! right? So if you pay attention to how people act in real life, right? Work, um, in your friend groups, what you're gonna see very clearly if you pay attention is that people really haven't changed from now, whether you're in your 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, whatever. People have not changed from high school up until now. The only thing that has changed is how people look and the things that they do on a daily basis. Instead of going to class, they're going to work. And instead of partying on the weekends at their friend's house, you know, they're going, if they're rich, they're going, you know, fancy places or vacation. Or if they're not, you know, we're going to the bar. That's it. Nothing has changed, right? For most people. Let's say, you know, let's just come up with a number and, you know, 98% of people rarely evolve beyond high school and even if they do evolve in many ways like oh they became successful da, 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 da. they just changed the way that it looks like they're acting right but the ways that they are operating in their communication styles the way that people trade information the way that people build bonds with each other the way that people connect with each other but also the way that people fight each other and have conflict it's all the fucking same. None of it has changed, right? I'm wearing a t-shirt from an anime that is about high school, right? So I, I didn't realize it until I start. I was about to make this video and then I'm like, oh yeah, I'm wearing a Classroom of the Elite shirt. Like it's actually perfectly timed. People in high school, when you, you're gonna see the infancy of what rules the entire world. The world is run on hierarchies and social groups. And sometimes those hierarchies and social groups extend into a large thing that we call a nation. And sometimes those nations go to war and they use fancy technologies to blow each other into pieces. But at the end of the day, what's causing all of that is disagreements with each other and conflict with each other in, in their mind. I don't like what you do and, or you don't like what I do. And one of us starts a fight about it. So from the highest macro perspective of economic conflict, military conflict, social cultural conflict of cultures clashing, you know, certain populations in one country go to another country and then there's a bunch of conflict on, you know, we have this religion, this, da, da, da. It's all the same shit as in high school, bro. It's just clicks. And my group is right, your group is wrong. This person was in our group, but we kicked them out because they violated X rule or Y rule. Now, am I saying that some of these groups are not right or are not wrong? No. Some of them in certain situations have the right answer and are morally correct. And some of them in certain, that same group in a different context can be completely wrong, right? I'm not giving a universal moral answer. I'm just telling you that the perspective by which everyone is having conflict or concord and, and agreements is based on the same shit that happens in high school. You gossip about each other. Me, 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 me. I mean, I was watching this video uh, in, in, in Thailand of this monk that I absolutely love to watch. And he was sitting there and had to teach people like, hey guys, you know, there was something in the fridge that had one person's name on it and someone else took it. You don't do that, right? But what happened is instead of these people like confronting each other about it, what they did, they ran to the head monk of the monastery. Beep, 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 did this. Beep, 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 did this. And he even said it like that. Like, I'm not talking shit. Like, he actually said, it's like you're a bunch of high schoolers. It's like everyone's trying to, you know, everyone's going to tell the teacher. Right? Everyone's going to go, what are you going to do when someone does something wrong? 
Are you going to walk up to the person and say, hey, excuse me, da, 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 let's resolve this? No. Most of the time, what are you going to do? You're going to go fucking talk shit to your friends about this person and meh, 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 meh. And then you guys are going to either like just stop talking to that person, you know, or they're going to, you know, he's not going to get invited to the party anymore or he is and everyone's going to kind of ignore him and he's going to have his time and time out. Now, I'm not even saying that these social rules are necessarily wrong, that there isn't function to gathering information about people, what is said about people and having a reputation. It obviously serves a function, right? It's like everyone has their own Wikipedia article. Everyone in, in the group has a Wikipedia article in their mind about everyone else and has a certain set of information. And some of their articles might be more in depth because that one person knows something about that person that other people don't, good or bad. And so their perspective on that person is very different. And what happens is when people talk is you update your Wikipedia articles about each other. And when these people interact, their articles get more updated because the more you interact with each other, people see what you do and hear what you say or hear about what you do or say and their, their article gets updated with new information. And basically in their mind is overall, they, they either see you positively or negatively in terms of I like you or I don't like you. And then maybe there's like an axiom of like respect and disrespect. Cause you can like someone and not respect them. It's possible. Just think about it. Like there's a guy in your group who you like him, but you don't really respect him as a man. Like you don't really like, you know, he's got some good qualities, but if, if I put a gun to your head and be like, do you really respect him? Be like, no. And there's people that maybe you don't necessarily respect, but you like them. Like, I don't know. I've met people that like are kind of shitty, but I like them, which I would have to go, uh, you know, because maybe they're charismatic or maybe, you know, I could recognize they're maybe not a good person or maybe they, they don't have this quality that I respect, but they have something about them that I like. Now, would I continue being friends with them? Well, probably not because I don't respect them. Or I don't think they're virtuous, right? Because that's important. But you can have mixed feelings about people, right? And then of course, when it comes to interactions between men and women, there's gonna be attraction or non-attraction. So all of our individual databases about each other of these things that we respect about each other or don't respect or like or don't like or are attracted to or not attracted to, they are just comprised of what we have seen the person do with our own eyes, heard them say in a, like a group conversations or a one-on-one. -on -one. I've seen that the way they interact with the waiter. I've seen the way that they react when they lose to me in a video game, or I've seen how they do act when they win, or I see the way they act around women um, when they're getting success with women or not getting success, right? They're the third wheel. Do I see them get upset or are they respectful and they you know try to help me out? Or do they get resentful and try to butt in? When I bring my hot girlfriend around, does this person act, you know, nice and respectful? Or does he like suddenly become a comedian and he's all, you know, trying to like show off and like, hmm, interesting, right? All of these behaviors that you can see when, when he goes through, when you're going through a tough time, how does he act? Does he take a power position over you and like, you know, try to like act b better than you and superior to you? Or does he try to help you out? Um, when he's in a bad position, right? Does he cut everyone off and be really rude? Or does he just isolate himself and not try to bother anyone? There's, 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 there's shades of behaviors as well. It's not just so simple as I like this, I don't like this. You get plus one, I get minus one because you did this or said this. But you know, we could go through the complexity of every people's actions and words. But at the end of the day, it's you see something that they did personally, heard something that they said yourself, or you hear from someone else something that they did or said. Right? We call this gossip. Right? When we think of gossip, we think of it as a negative thing and it does have a negative connotation but i, I suppose we'll, we'll use it in a neutral sense it could be positive or good right there could be good gossip you know you could say oh yeah you know kyle's such a cool guy or hector's such a piece of shit you know whatever he did this or he did that and then you also have to is it true what these people are saying because it could be slanderous or it could be uh boasting about someone and talking in their favor um, but it can also be true or not, right? That's what I mean. Slanderous is like it's negative and it's a lie. Or it could be like blowing smoke up someone's ass and telling someone good, but it's also a lie, right? So these things can be very, very complicated. But at the end of the day, as you start, so what I was talking about earlier is how the entire world is run like a high school. It's all the same and it always will be the same. I, I don't think the amount of people that I've met that have this ability to kind of transcend the basic laws of let's call it social circles right where you know they go out of their way to confront people directly they um whether it's you know something that happened to them or something that happened to someone else 
they, they kind of have a, the ability to step back and not get lost in the, oh, well, this person did this, this person did this, and never just truly taking control of the flow of information, like questioning what someone said. Like he said this about this person, hmm, I'll consider that. Even if you trust this person, right? You'll be like, okay, you know, that doesn't quite mesh with what I said. Yep. Or do you have the ability to step back even when someone that you respect or like or trust is telling you something, but you have a doubt about it? That's a very difficult thing to do because it, you know, immediately most people do is they just side with that person. Yeah, fuck that person. Do you have the ability to step back and evaluate the flow of them? Because it's all just about information at the end of the day, right? Even, you know, let's think of it on like a macro scale. Let's make this like, you know, we're playing a game of civilization, right? So you have the map, you have all the nations. At the end of the day, what's happening is this country hears about what this country is doing because somehow they saw it or someone told them. That's it. They didn't just magically imagination like, oh, I know that they're moving troops to the east part of our country. like. They either saw it themselves because they had scouts or they, you know, heard from a spy or someone on the other side, you know, let them know because they want to betray their country. Who the fuck knows, right? And there's conflicts in the world that are going on right now that are operating under, oh, well, you're really trying to do this. So we're going to make a strike first and da, da, like the entire world is run off of this. And if you watch the way that political leaders like talk on TV. Poor kids are just as bright and just as talented as white kids. Bro. Just like for a second, just try this. Next time you see um, like a, a news report or something go, okay, I'm gonna try this weird perspective. I wanna think of these people as they're just like talking shit on a reality TV show. And it's really weird, but it works. So you're sitting there and you're watching this world leader talk about this other country and like, they did this and we did this and rah, rah, rah. And you're like, bro, you're, you're a high schooler complaining to the world, right? When you see people like this, it gets really weird, right? So, you know, let's not make it serious with countries and politics and war, even though it's accurate. Let's, let's think about YouTube, right? So this is really, this is, this is the really, this is the one that like blows my mind when you really think about it. So we have YouTube, right? This is the platform that I'm making this video on. And on this platform, people will make videos about other people, okay? So they'll watch a video of another person, right? So they actually sat in front of a computer, a video of a different person popped up on their screen, and at some point they went, fuck this guy, okay? And he said, I'm gonna make a video about this asshole. Now, there's a difference between like a critique, right? Oh, oh, hey, this person said this and let's go through this. No, no, no. What they do is they watch a video of this person and they go, fuck this guy. And then they go on a tirade about this person. And then what they do is they take the time to fucking edit this shit. And then they put it on YouTube instead of directly talking to this person they were like, hey, I saw you do that thing over there. I'm gonna go over there, that podium, and I'm gonna scream about how much of a piece of shit you are. Bro, it's the most mind boggling shit I have ever seen. And I actually got caught it up into it once, right? I had this guy make videos about me and I was like, all right, that's silly. And then after like the third video, I was like, okay, I think I have, to, like, I was like, all right, I have to abide by the rules of socializing, right? You can't have someone talk shit about you that many times and you have to respond in some way, right? And it's like, okay. And I was like, this is so weird that I'm doing this. So you make a video and then I'm like addressing this guy who is across the world who decided to make videos about me instead of like directly messaging him. And then I was like, well, how would I even like contacted him in the first place? I mean, you know, he's got a bunch of uh, subscribers. Like I'm sure if I just dropped in his DMs, you know, I wouldn't, you know, he probably wouldn't even notice. So it's like, why do, I, it's such a weird phenomenon. It's like, why do I have to like, it's like someone gets like, think of it. Someone gets up in a podium in high school I'm like, hey, I saw this. Just think of any drama that you see on YouTube. It's like, hey, so and so, yeah, I, I, I heard, I heard they did this thing. You know, oh, I, I heard he likes uh, to eat ass. Like that's weird. That's creepy. He likes to eat ass. <laughs> and then everyone's like, ah! right. And then this dude's like in a different class, right? And then after lunchtime. Someone comes up, he's like, hey, bro, like, you know, you know who and so-and-so with on that YouTube? He was like, yeah, man. He's like, you, you like to eat ass. <laughs> and everyone's laughing. And he's like, man, fuck that guy. I don't like to eat ass. Fuck that, you piece of shit. So instead of like walking up to that guy and saying, hey, man, can we have a conversation? Like, first of all, if I do eat ass, why, why is that a big deal? Is eating ass bad? You know, or, uh, 
it could be something like just it could just be your viewpoints on things right it doesn't even have to be something weird it could just be like you know conservative liberal uh this religion or this religion or you know whatever right and you go up to this person and or instead of going up to this person and having a conversation with them you're like all right you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go on the podium tomorrow at lunch and i'm gonna talk shit about him yay so the next day hey everybody Oh, hey, it's the guy who eats ass. We're like, yeah, it's me, fuck you. Or no, it's not, I don't eat ass, right? And he's like, yeah, well, you know that person? Well, I heard that he likes to fuck dogs. And I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> he likes to fuck dogs. Like, what's going on? And maybe you just made that shit up because you wanted to, like, I don't know, embarrass him, right? And you're like, yeah, I got a video of him fucking a dog. And I was like, what? And of course, you, you just, you know, wanted to get back at him. So the world really runs like this, bro. Like people do this all the sh fucking time. People make videos about each other and you can't say like, oh, well, you know, we should cr be critiquing each other and blah, 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 blah. If you wanted to critique each other, what you do is you take someone's ideas, right? I do this all the time in my videos. I will take ideas that I've seen from people, but I don't talk about these people. I just take the ideas that I heard and I go, hey, this is an idea and it's stupid for this reason. And then what people do is if they've seen those types of people who purport to or like espouse those views and believe those views, they're able to confront the views on the on the level of views. But what happens is when you start attaching people to views, it gets very, very complicated because people obviously defend themselves. And you can't be mad that they defended themselves either. I've seen that too, right? It's really high school shit, right? So it's like people will talk shit at lunch and get on the table and scream about each other. And then when the next person comes back, and gets on the table and talks shit about them, they're like, oh, this person is so sensitive. Like, I can't believe he fucking did that. And it's like, but you got on a table and announced to everyone that he eats ass. <laughs> like, you don't think he was going to respond to that? It's like, bro, like, even if you're, let's say you're right. Let's say you had the moral high ground and this person's actually a piece of shit. Why are you surprised that they're fucking coming at you? If you, if you truly had their good, uh, intentions in mind you would have contacted them and had a private conversation with them you wouldn't have made a video about them right but the world runs like a high school it really does it really runs like a fucking high school so much of the way that people interact changes zero from when people are fucking teenagers of gossip and our reputation is built up by what people have seen us do and and heard us do or seen heard what we've said directly or heard from someone else what, we, what we've said and these uh these little micro reputations just propagate into large macro reputations right and all of our wikipedia articles get updated and then what happens is you've been just inundated with information about this particular person a political figure uh, a cultural figure uh, a musician, an artist, a philosopher, a, a YouTuber, who knows? And then you have this entire database about this person and you have never even met the motherfucker. Fucking wild, right? You've never even met this motherfucker. And yet you have an entire opinion. on it. That shit, to me, is bananas. And I'm subject to it. I'm not some, you know, I'm not... I'm not fully detached from it either. I try my best, but I still fall into it sometimes. And then I go, what am I doing? Like, why do I have an opinion? Like, I'll watch a video and be like, yeah. And then I'm like, why, why do I have this opinion about this person? Like, I don't know this person. I don't, I, I've never had a conversation with them. Maybe I'm just seeing them on a bad day. Maybe I'm just seeing them out of context. Or even if I am seeing them in context, maybe, you know, they were trying to say this, but it didn't come out quite right because people can have good ideas and just be shitty at expressing them. So it's so mind boggling to me that it, it just makes the world seem like a clown world. And even the people, and then people will like step out of it, right? And then they'll do like what I'm doing. So I'll be even self-critical here. I'll step out of it. I'll be like, yeah, the whole world uh, runs like a high school. Like I'm above it. I'm so much better than everyone, right? But guess what I'm doing? I'm making a YouTube video talking about how this is fucking clown world. And then people who have stepped out of it a little bit at least are going to be like, yeah, this guy's right. Everyone's in clown world, but I'm not. Truth is we're all in clown world and we're fucking clowns. If you look down at your feet, you'll notice you're wearing clown shoes. 
Now, some people have really big clown shoes and some people have little clown shoes. There are people who have taken the clown shoes off completely, but they're very, very rare and I'm working on that. Um, but I still have clown shoes on, right? Now, I tell myself that I uploaded this video to educate you, and that's definitely a sincere motivation, but there is a part of me, and I have to admit, that is uploading this video because I do think I'm better than those people. Because I'm, you know, I can detach myself from it and I can see what they're doing. I'm like, yeah, you guys are, I'm kind of like the loner, right? Who's like, yo, know, you kid in high school, you think you're so fucking cool. Like, I'm the cool kid, you know, I go sit alone at lunch and <laughs> fuck you guys, right? It's a little bit kind of what I'm doing, right? The, the edge lord who's like, yeah, society, bro. So, if you're, if you're still in the high school, right, you're still in high school. So you have to ask yourself, are you in high school? And here's the thing. If you're going to interact with people, you have to play the high school games, right? Let's say one day you do take the clown shoes off and you're totally not a clown. You're still going to have to walk into the high school to interact with everyone else. You're going to be walking around barefoot. You're not going to be a clown, but maybe you got to put on a little bit of makeup and, and kind of make yourself look like a clown so that you can even interact with the clowns. Because the only way, the only way that the clowns know how to speak is with clown language. So you got to put on at least like a red nose just to be like, hello, fellow high schoolers. How do you do, fellow kids? You know, I'm just like you. And you're not really playing the game with them, but you're playing with the, the game with them to the extent that you're speaking their language so they can actually interact with you. Because at the end of the day, that's all the tools that we have. So this is a critique of, of, of high school, college, real life in the way that we socialize. But it's also a, it's all we're stuck with. And so it's a tool that you have to use to your advantage. And it can lead to a lot of good things. You know, you, if you're good at speaking clown language and playing with the tools of, of clown high school, you can use that influence that you, that you garner and that attractiveness that, that people are going to be drawn to, that magnetism that we call charisma, or if it's for women like sexiness and you know you can have relationships off of it because you have a choice of a lot of women because you've become a sexy man or you can have a lot of friends because you've become charismatic or you can become a leader of people if you have something to give them like being you got to have you know, why are you leading people where are you leading them towards um you know do you have something to teach people or something to give people or of course you have your own selfish motivations you have something that you want to gain from it so you should learn the clown language and the clown language is the knowledge that, all right, you know, people have to talk about other people and people are going to judge me by what I do and what I say. So I'm going to have to be careful about what I do and what I say because it is going to get passed on. People are going to talk about it either in a public forum, like this is the cafeteria, YouTube is the cafeteria, social media is the cafeteria. So what you do when everyone's around really means a lot. But what you do when you're hanging out with someone after school also matters a lot because that person might come tomorrow and talk to another person in another class and then that person is going to tell someone else and they're going to tell someone else. And then by lunchtime, everyone's whispering about this good thing that you did or this bad thing that you did. So you need to be aware that what you do has effects on how people perceive you and how people perceive you is going to, tr it's going to change how they treat you in the future. But what's imperative is that you always remember it as a tool. At the end of the day, we're wearing clown shoes and we have clown makeup on and we're in fucking high school. Now the stakes are quite high, right? The stakes in high school aren't, aren't that bad, but the stakes now are a lot higher, right? We're dealing with, with all the big stuff. And, and if you do gossip incorrectly or if you piss off the wrong person, now people are going to die because of it. When you think of like countries gossiping about each other. So you need to be aware that there are consequences. But don't ever forget you're in fucking clown world. So use it as a tool and see through it. But you got to play the game well at the same time. But it'll really help you if you just remember you're in high school. And most of the people you're talking to are wearing some big ass clown shoes. And probably your shoes are bigger than you think they are. Because if you're watching this and you're like, oh, yeah, I'm going to leave a comment about how, you know, everyone is so much, uh, you know, everyone's so stupid and I'm so outside the bounds of social norms and name me, me. <laughs> chances are. Your clown shoes are a lot bigger than you think they are. Now, what's the best way that you can gain control of, you know, speaking clown language fluently and, and having the coolest set of clown shoes that other people are going to like? So I have a book called King of College and you can find it in the description. And what this goes over is my experiences in college. And when I realized that the whole world 
is run like in college. And then of course it's also run like it's in fucking high school, right? Because there's no difference. I remember when I was in, before I went to college, there was this chick in my high school and she was a drama starter as I found out. But I remember she put a status on Facebook. I don't know why I remember this. I, I remember the weirdest things. And I remember she's like, I can't wait to go to college where people are mature, you know, and I'm nearly dealing with like mature people and adults. And I remember even then, you know, cause I wasn't popular or anything, but I, you know, here's me. I like, oh, Hector was so smart. He was the wallflower who was seeing the truth of the social, whatever, you know. I, I recognized at least, I was like, are people really gonna change over three months? Cause everyone going to college has been out of high school for three months. Are people gonna magically evolve? in three months. And I was like, no, it doesn't make any fucking sense. So when I went to college, I was just like, well, I feel like everyone's going to be the same as they were in high school. It's just, I have a fresh slate because no one knows who I am. So I went into college with like being a loser. And then I made myself not a loser. And you, you can see the story in the book. It's, it's a book that has my story, but interwoven right next. Every time there's a story, there's also a lesson that I learned from it on making friends, on uh, talking to girls, on dealing with gossip and reputation, the good things that I did and the bad things that I did and the mistakes that I made and the good choices that I made. And, and then the theory and the frameworking of how to understand how all this hierarchy group gossip reputation shit works based on my experiences in college. And then my theory was, okay, well, that was the same as high school. I just played the game better. I bet real life is the same. And lo and behold, 10 years later, I'm still right. It's all the fucking same. I haven't been surprised at all. And it's not because I'm smart. It's just because I had a theory and I tested it and it ended up being right. Uh, a lot of my details were wrong, um, but I learned most of my lessons in college. So, you know, for, you know, 98% of scenarios, I was correct in everything in the college book. Um, I do want to make an addendum for a second edition where I kind of clarify maybe some of the things I didn't do right. Um, morally mostly right the um the drinking and the partying and the drugs and then the uh sleeping with girls with boyfriends and then the you know i was maybe i talked shit a bit too much right i was too much of a shit starter right so those things i would have changed but um all the other lessons are just true because they're true so you should definitely check out that book uh yes this is a sales marketing tactic but um it's useful for you so you can pay 15 bucks and you can learn something very useful that will apply far beyond college. So it's a college book, but as I just explained, like it's all the fucking same. And I, I am eventually gonna make a course, like a full video course on like every little detail on how to like socialize in real life, real life, right? And how to make friends and da 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 da. And very, very in detail, you know, much less centered around college and more just any situation. But that book is for now, it's sufficient. It's, it's the best explanation of social group interactions that I've ever read personally. That's why I wrote it, right? I'm not sucking my own dick here. Like I wrote it specifically because I was like, there's nothing else out there that deals with, sees the things that I saw. So that's why I made it for your benefit, right? And for mine too, obviously, so that I could benefit from those years, you know, uh, pay back, eventually pay back my student loans with the profit from the book. But uh, yeah, anyways, hope you enjoyed the video. Check out the book. It'll teach you everything that you need to know about social hierarchies for the most part um and uh and it's a funny book it's um, i'm a pretty good writer if i'm not going to suck my own dick but you might think that's arrogant and then you form a new wikipedia article in your mind that this guy's a douchebag and you're not going to give me your money and that's okay right because i recognize that that's sometimes a consequence of my actions but truth is more important than your reputation you got to be careful when you say the truth but at the end of the day you got to speak it and if people don't like it well it doesn't matter the truth so hector castillo Hope you enjoyed the video. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, check out my book. Go fuck yourself and I love you. Ciao.